What you see above you in the title bar is not at all a mistake. We are going to be reviewing Born and Raised, the new album by John Mayer today. Now metal fans, you may sit there in disgust and think to yourself, Cover Killer Nation, how could you? How could you review something like this whenever you are the premier metal reviewer here on YouTube? Fans of dubstep, fans of metalcore, deathcore, things that I have bashed in the past, fans of Attack Attack and Bullet for My Valentine, A Day to Remember and other things such as that may say to, your, say to yourselves or to me, Cover Killer Nation, how could you do this whenever you bash the music that I love? John Mayer sucks. No, he doesn't. John Mayer is actually a guy who has developed a lot of talent in my eyes. Now, the talent was always there. It was just kind of misappropriated. Uh, it was being geared towards kind of a poppy rock sound, and then all of a sudden with his album Continuum, uh, the blues-driven side of him really just decided to emerge. And now, uh, it seems like John Mayer has been poised to uh, reinvent himself once again. Now, this is got a lot to do with the fact that over the past couple of years since uh, his last release, Heartbreak Warfare, things have kind of gotten out of control with him. Uh, he has had a laundry list of celebrity ex-girlfriends. He's uh, moved, his parents have gotten divorced, and uh, all sorts of other crap has happened. It's been a pretty active couple of years, but this is John Mayer we're talking about here. This guy, all, all he has to do is sing four notes and girls' panties come off. And you might think to yourself, then why are you reviewing it, Cover Killer Nation? It seems like everything that you're against. Well, it's because the blues-driven side of John Mayer and exquisite songwriting and really a lot of meaningful songwriting that he's able to really uh, bring out, especially with the past two albums, Continuum and Heartbreak Warfare, really won me over. Really showed me that this guy's a viable musician. Now, with Born and Raised... It has become a little bit more different again. I, mean, I told you that he sort of transformed himself again. Did he go back to the pop roots? No, he really did not. Instead, he's kind of treading some new ground, almost as though he is this, this lost cowboy that's on his way out west. And the only thing that he has besides his horse is his guitar. And he's kind of singing these odes about finding himself, about, you know, really re uh, discovering what it is that he is and uh, what it is that he has been. Kind of a self-examination. One could easily call this album John Mayer Portrait of a Man. And it would be no different than the fact that it is titled Born and Raised because this is an exquisite metaphor that could be used for this album. It's an it's increasingly and at some points excruciatingly intimate, and it has a very nice setting to it. And the one thing that really strikes me about this album, well, there's two things, I'll take that back. The two things that strike me about this album is, for one, for me, it really doesn't ramp up till about track number six. And then the last part of this album, the latter part of this album, is absolutely awesome. And the second part about this album that really grabs me is the fact that this is a gentleman who is able to blend so many different styles of music and it's so effortless for him. It's something where he's able to go into that poppy side and get huge. And it was effortless. He's able to transition into a more bluesy style. And it was effortless. And now on this album, he's treading on folk and country styles. And it's effortless. It's effortless. Now don't worry, country fans. If you're afraid that he's going to take the twang out of your favorite genre... If you're afraid that he's going to make it, he's going to be mean and take it all away. No, he's not going to do that. Because people that like to do country style, you know, riffing and things like that, without the twang, we have a term for that and it's folk. And we kind of like it that way. For those who are into the blues that think that John Mayer is going to try to pop it up, not so much. This guy's legit. This album proves that he's legit. This album, while I have to say is not his strongest, I think that Continuum still remains to be his strongest release, is very, very, very well done. It's very well executed, very well thought out. Everything is extremely profound, and the message is clear that this is an album that not only helped John Mayer find himself, but he's also trying to use it to help other people do the same thing. Almost as though he's teaching a self-help instructional class on finding yourself. And... He is your instructor, Professor John Mayer, musicologist, find yourselfologist, and philosopher. This is a man who probably would fuck your mom if he had the opportunity and if she was hot enough, and then would leave her the next day, 
but also a man that would treat her right for that 24-hour period because he would serenade her to the point in which she was dripping so much with cum that she forgot the fact that she had children, wasn't married, or perhaps was even a child at one point. This is an album that works in many, many different ways. It works on the countryside with a song like Whiskey, 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 which definitely gives you that uh, that feel, only it's kind of like California-ized, and it's kind of nice. I really like this. Uh, Born and Raised actually sounds like it should be with uh, CSNY or something like that, and actually there's a good reason for that, but I'll let you guys figure that out. Uh, and really just the folk element on this album that is blended with his traditional pop-slash-blues style just culminates together to create quite the explicit, uh, exquisite platter of uh, songs that uh, overall the body of it is very enjoyable. I, I cannot say that this album is bad because it is not. I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. And I really think that this is an album that a lot of people will be hearing over and over again, ad nauseum, especially the song Love is a Verb, because it sounds like this is a track that is going to be at school dances, it's going to be at weddings, it's going to be at uh, honeymoons, it's going to be at second weddings, or, you know, rediscovery of vows, it's going to be at bar mitzvahs, it's going to be everywhere. Anywhere that there's love in the air, Love is a Verb will be loving it up on the radio. Maybe you'll get some love to this song. John Mayer probably definitely will. But check this out. If you're actually bold and brave enough to try something new, if you're actually bold and brave enough and like folk music with a little dash of blues spice, with a little little subtle glint of pop voice, give this a shot. I dare you.